Welcome to another Learn and Gain session on ITIL. In this video we will talk about supplier management process. Supplier management process ensures that, supplier and services they provide are managed to support IT service targets and business expectations. The purpose is to obtain value for money from suppliers, and to provide seamless quality of IT service to business, by ensuring all contractual agreements meet the business needs and that all supply meet their contractual requirement. The objective is to obtain value for money, manage supplier relationships, supplier performance, negotiate and agree contracts with supplier, and maintain supplier policy. All supplier related information and data, are maintained within, Supplier and Contract Management Information System, or SCMIS. To achieve, Consistency and effectiveness of supplier policy information SCMIS, should be implemented. It should ideally be an integral part of comprehensive CMS. Let us take an example of a pizza store. In order to meet the demand and manage supply chain, the store manager will have contracts with multiple supplier providing ingredients. Each supplier supplies ingredients that are required to make a pizza. The store contract manager, ensures that the supplier meets the needs of the business and supply time, aligns. The business needs are translated into SLR, service level requirements. Once agreed upon, this goes into a formal contract as a metric around timelines, quantity and quality. An example comparison of supplier metrics in pizza store and IT organization is displayed. All supplier metrics align with the need of the business. IT should support business. Supplier strategy, sometimes called the sourcing strategy, defines the service provider's plan for how it will leverage the contribution of suppliers to achieve service strategy. Contract is one of the key pieces in managing suppliers. Nature and extent of agreement with a service provider, depends on relationship type, and assessment of the risks involved. The basic content of a contract are, basic terms and conditions, service description and scope, service standards, workload ranges, management information, responsibilities and dependencies, service debit and credit regime, and performance criteria. Contracts may also include a number of other schedules like, security requirements, business continuity, technical standards, migration plans, and disclosure agreements. Let us look at some of the key activities. Definition of a new supplier and contract requirement includes business case, statement of requirement, and conformance to strategy. Evaluation of new suppliers that includes, method of procurement, establishing evaluation criteria and alternate options, negotiate contracts, targets, closure, renewal and so on. Supplier evaluation and categorization includes, assessing the supplier, ensure changes processed through service transition, categorize supplier, update and manage, SCMIS. Establishment of new suppliers and contracts include, setting up supplier contract, transition the service, establishing contacts and relationship. Contract and performance management includes, manage and control operation, monitor and report, review and improve service, quality, manage supplier relationship, review annually. Contract renewal or termination includes, review benefits and ongoing requirement, renew or terminate transfer, and transition to new supplier or internal resources. Unlike traditional hierarchical methods, supplier partnership enables supplier to work with customer, providing strategical solutions and help deliver better services. To successfully, select the most appropriate type of supplier relationship, there needs to be a clear understanding of the business objectives, that are to be achieved. 
The following are a list of sample critical success factors for supplier management. It is up to the organization to select the appropriate CSF based on the business process. Hope we have provided you with a brief understanding on supplier management. For more videos, please visit our website at www.learnandgain.in. You can also subscribe to our channel on YouTube. We will be publishing more videos on ITIL. You can also follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash learn and gain. You can also follow us on LinkedIn. Thank you and have a nice day.